All right, Mike, we will check in with you later. A Columbus landlord talked for the first time tonight about charges that his rental properties are not up to code. A judge ordered Stuart Kaplow to live in one of his apartments until he fixes the problems there. 10 TV Eyewitness News reporter Angela Ann is live on East 9th Avenue with the rest of that story. Angela? Angela, the judge came down hard on Stuart Kaplow. He sentenced him to six months in jail, but only if Kaplow failed to show any improvements or repairs on his apartments like this one behind me. Now, Kaplow defended himself today in court, saying that many of these problems were because of a maintenance man he has since fired. I relied on my key employee who lied to me. It got me into major trouble. I faced six months in jail because of... Stuart Kaplow told the environmental court his new maintenance man is reliable and will help him bring all 700 units he owns up to code. I've been before you before many times over the years, and I don't want to be back there. Kaplow promised Judge Richard Pfeiffer he'd take more responsibility with his properties. City prosecutors asked the court to do more. I don't feel just residing there overnight is applicable to that. We'd ask that he join the neighborhood association in that area or that he become a member of the block watch. The judge took that suggestion one step further. By Monday, Stuart Kaplow must move completely from his Bexley mansion and become a full-time neighbor with his tenants. That includes moving his home office, a sentence Kaplow's lawyer tried to appeal but failed. Obviously, runs a business. He's not going to run it from his house or from this uh, residence on each night. He runs it from his home. Um, that's where his office is. Can't do it. Got to get out of there. Not going to let it happen. No. Understood. Now, on top of forcing Kaplow to live here, the judge also fined him $150 for each emergency violation found in one of his apartments. He also put Kaplow on three years probation, told him he can't leave Franklin County until he gets permission, and any rent that he gets from these apartments must now go into a special escrow account that can only be used for mortgage payments or repairs. Now, Kaplow's attorney says the message is heard loud and clear. He says Kaplow has already spent $100,000 on repairs and plans to spend another 100000 in the next few months. Reporting live from East 9th, Angela Ann, 10TV, Eyewitness News.